Let's have a look at Disney stock. <clears throat> so today is Thursday, last trading day of the week. So and then happy holidays. We are having a three day off. But Disney here today in the morning is breaking out of this 153-ish resistance I was watching for this stock. And let's have a look at what's next to come for this name. <clears throat> We're gonna switch to daily chart. And <clears throat> on a daily chart you can see stock has been downtrending for quite some time and technically it is still in this bear market year to date if you look at it from its all-time highs stock is still down about 25 percent but last time when they reported earnings it created this huge gap down this um, if you can see this uh, square blue zone so that's the gap I'm watching to get filled even though it fell from 174 to all the way down to 163 uh, there is a resistance at 170 which acted as a support for quite some time couldn't break it and then after earnings it did sell off and then more people sold here so at the moment right here right now okay so 153 and I would watch even maybe uh, 155 here and above that level well let's have a look at moving averages so we're gonna have a resistance well before it tries to fill this zone that we talked about uh, and also 50 day moving average at the moment it's downtrending uh, and that 50 day moving average first time stock tests that level at the moment it's 159 I will be looking at this level as a resistance uh, if you can um, if you can look at it uh, let me get this pen so you guys can see it more clearly so this is the price action in September uh, October and you can see every time stock was hitting uh, 50 day moving average this 50 day moving average this yellow line right here and also um, all of its moving averages were uh, trading pretty much around the same uh, zone right here 200 day is a red line right here up there but this 50 day moving average if you look at this 50 day moving average every time price gets up to there uh, it was rejecting one two three four um, and then before earnings fifth time it tested these levels and it rejected so that's why first time stock tries to test it I will be watching it as a resistance if it gets above well that's good then above that level I would watch 170 as a resistance looks like at the moment this 145 has been acting as a support and uh, also if we take a look at the MACD I think momentum is trying to pick up to the upside the signal line and the MACD line well below zero at the moment even though I don't too much too much uh, weight into these kind of indicators but it's you can see that it's obvious that momentum is trying to go to the upside and also uh, if you take a look at the let's take a look at the volume bars from here that we have a decent support at these levels so if you can see 150 to all the way 145 on a daily let me bring up two years so we can see it more clearly so if you look at this two-year volume profile this 145 we have talked about it many times 145 146 that's a really good uh, support zone here and from here if you go with volume bars perspective you can see here as well this 170 will act as a resistance from 170 all the way to 177 there's a sellers now because that's where most volume traded also uh, we're not gonna look at option activity today because it's still early in the day but that's the video for Disney and I think um, We'll definitely update it once um, things change. But thanks for watching. Uh, Merry Christmas. 
see you all soon